everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. I love playing piccolo trumpet. I love playing cornet. I love playing flugelhorn. And I really enjoy playing the valve trombone. In fact, my second album, I think I recorded a few tunes on valve trombone. So hopefully you check that out sometime. That was about 150 decades ago. But the one thing I see in all my students, especially people who double from instrument to instrument, uh, is the fact that they have issues going from, say, a B-flat trumpet to a piccolo trumpet. So here are a couple tips that I use in my own daily practice that will hopefully help you work on things like this. So for instance, piccolo trumpet. We know that if we try to approach the piccolo trumpet with the same intensity and airstream that we use on the big horn, the B-flat trumpet, or even a trombone, for instance, it will it will not work because we're trying to put a massive amount of air into the piccolo trumpet, which needs to be finessed a little bit more. So, easiest thing you could start doing is playing simple melodies or simple tunes on the piccolo trumpet. You ever take the beginning of the Arvind's book, for instance? Uh, eventually, I like doing a lot of my slur exercises. Just like I would do on my B-flat trumpet. Yes, it's a, an octave higher, but I'm not forcing them out. You ever play Clark Studies on your piccolo trumpet? You should. Or, in this case, I'll play a Vizzuti uh, technical study. start really working with the piccolo in terms of how the resistance is, it will it will be fine. You can't push it out on the piccolo. Now if I go to something like the flugelhorn, remember the flugelhorn is a small bore horn, like the piccolo trumpet actually. That piccolo trumpet was 0 .450. This is about 0 .413. So if I start playing the flugelhorn with a ton of intensity, <laughs> start playing with a lot of intensity, it's also not going to work because of the bore. So it wants to be coaxed a little bit. Same thing applies here. You can work on getting the comfort level in the flugelhorn to a point where it feels really nice. So you can transition just like you did on the piccolo trumpet. This cornet is a 0.485 bore. It's humongous. It's about the same bore as this trombone. So if now I can actually really push this, but it's not going to be it's not really conducive to that. So I want to just coax it out as well. And in this case, my articulated shape, the tongue that I'm using, it's a little lighter because if I, I can hit it a little harder on my B flat trumpet and it's okay. But if I tongue that hard on this cornet, it's, it's not going to work. It wants to be coaxed a little bit. I hope that makes sense because it's such an important thing to get comfortable with these. Practice on your doubling instruments. A lot of people just grab a piccolo trumpet and say, oh, it's time for hallelujah, I'm going to just do it. But if you don't ever practice on the horn, and what I mean by that is getting comfortable with the horn, getting comfortable with the intonation, getting comfortable with where the slotting is, it's going to be really hard to play those horns. <laughs> to the horn. And then if I just wanted to go to this guy, I have 
to get used to the Airstream because it's totally different than the Piccolo trip. And I'm not going to just grab. And then. I can't use the same Airstream. I can't. It, I need a different Airstream to support this instrument. But I got to practice on it. And for for me, when I practice with my doubling instruments, I go f just like I just did from the the least uh, uh, you know amount of tubing to the most amount of tubing. So if I'm playing Valtramone on some gigs, that's the last thing I play because I don't necessarily like to switch between the Valtramone and the and the pic piccolo trumpet that often actually because you could heard what it does to my playing. Hope that makes sense. Play some melodies, get used to the comfort level of your resistance on each one of these instruments. Have fun. That's what this is all about is having fun. If you have a moment, hit that subscribe button on YouTube to stay up to date with all of our mini lessons, product offerings, and all of the goodies at ACB. Thanks so much for your awesome support of the shop. Take care. Ciao.